Hey everybody, Mr. Bennett here, ready to go. Welcome to the first video for chemistry. You're gonna get used to these. We're gonna be using these for every single thing that we do. And these are like your notes, remember? So um, you've got your note packet. Make sure you have that with you all the time. And if you lose it, you can go to the website and download a new one. So don't stress if you've lost yours because I lose stuff too, and that's okay. So this is section 1.1, notes 1.1, very start of the year. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at objective one. So let me swing up here a little bit. And so this is the first page of your notes. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using charts and graphs. So we're gonna be making charts and graphs from data to convey information. And this is something we're gonna do all year long. That's why we're gonna start with this now and get these skills down so later we can come back to this. So. Go ahead and flip to page two of your packet and make sure you see at the very, very top here, notes 1.1, because that's what I'm gonna be talking about. And we're gonna be talking about graphing data today. And now graphs, and you, I know you've done this in math or maybe in a science class before, but graphs allow scientists to create visuals or pictures that represent data. And that's what I said in that, uh, you know, objective very right there back at the beginning. So we're going to be taking information or data and putting it into a picture. And a graph is always, always, always tied to a chart. So we are going to be making a chart and a graph. Or I'm going to give you a chart and you need to make a graph. Or I'll give you a graph and you need to make a chart. So we're going to go all over the place with this. So let's take a look at a practice question right off the bat. And we're gonna be looking at temperatures of sand after heating. And now this is a chart, and we can see that two different ways. First, because I told you it's chart one. Also, charts are just rows and columns, and they're, they're kind of boring to look at. That's why we turn them into graphs. So I actually need to draw my axes in here, and yours are probably already on your sheet, but if they're not, go ahead and draw them. And I'm not using a ruler, that's why I have like a wavy line down here, so do not worry about my wavy line. The first thing we need to do on our axes is we need to label them. Always, always, always label your axes because I wanna know what I'm looking at. Now, just for a reminder, if you would like to put a Y up here and an X over here, that is fine. Remember the X axes or the X axis, I'll scroll down a little bit, then we'll go back. The X axis is horizontal. And if you have a hard time remembering horizontal. Remember, horizontal is like looking at the horizon, so it's the side to side there. And the x axis is vertical. And I'm going to be teaching you how we decide which label goes where. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to give you, you know, what you need to know. So this chart is giving us temperatures of sand after we heat it. And so we've got trials here. So this is, you know, trial one, trial two. So I've done this three times and then I've got the temperatures. So we're going to put the t uh, trials across the bottom. And all you would do is you just label it trials. And then we're gonna do temperature on the left or on the Y axis. And we always put units, so this is degrees Celsius. So really we're taking the labels from each you know, uh, column on the chart and putting it into a place on the axes. So we've got, let me switch back to black, we've got trial number one, trial number two, and trial number three. So go ahead and put one, two, and three across the bottom. And then we need to do a scale over here on the y-axis, and this just needs to be something in even increments. Now notice when we need to make our scale, we're going from about 22 degrees to 25 degrees. So do I need to start at zero down here? No. The short answer is that we can start this scale wherever we want. And I'm gonna come back to that idea. Um, so let, let's actually put our first tick mark right here at 20 degrees, because we wanna go a little below the lowest one. And we're going to go up to, I don't know, let's say 20, we'll do 28 degrees, because we will go a little bit above the highest one. So we're going to just count up 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So let's just label these down. And they don't need to be exact for this example. That's okay if we make mistakes, because we learn from mistakes. And there we go. Now, on our chart, Look at trial one and the corresponding temperature. So at trial one, I was at 22 degrees. So I'm gonna start here and go up, 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 to about the 22 mark, and I'm gonna put a dot right there. Now trial two, I bump up to about 24 degrees. So we've got 24, so we're gonna go over, and that's about even with the two, so we're gonna put a dot right there. 
And then for trial three, so this one was in blue. And then trial three, I'll do that in red just so I can see it a little bit better. We went up to 25 degrees, so we're a little bit higher. So here's the three, there's the 25, so we're gonna go over into about right there or so. And that's it, now we've got a graph. Um, and I'm gonna be teaching you about how we draw lines in here. Do we need to use lines? Should we connect the dots? Um, but all I would like you to do now is go to the end of the packet to the critical thinking questions. These are your CTQs, CTQs. So whenever you hear me say CTQs, that's what I'm talking about, these critical thinking questions. This is how you're gonna to prove to me what you have done. I'd like you to go take a look at those and that's what you're gonna show me when you're done.